What's up everyone, welcome back. This is just going to be a quick video, but it's uh, of something that I've wanted to do for a little little while now. Um, when you're changing out media in your cabinets, uh, particularly this type of cabinet that has a fixed reservoir, um, rather than the bucket underneath, or even cleaning out the um, these overflow tanks, these separator tanks, um, can be a bit of a pain. Um, and in order to get around um, having to remove things or uh, spend lots of time rinsing back and forward and, and trying to get into areas where the media settles and perhaps it's not quite easy uh, easy enough to get the media out of it um, I come up with this uh, it's just a little pneumatic vacuum um, now originally uh, I'm not sure where I put it now uh, here it is here originally I just had this um, this is just one of my old nozzles um, it probably still has a ceramic in there. You can kind of see the pink tinge on the inside there um, That's that's all it was and that was just stuck in the top of a bucket I threw it together really quickly because um, I wanted to do something with it um, In a hurry, but now I've moved on and I've got this so this is really really simple um, This is just my 3d printed nozzle um, the principles practically the same so this is my 3d printed um, Blasting gun or nozzle. Um, I tend to use the term nozzle a lot more. You say gun too many times and YouTube starts deranking your stuff or hides it or um, or does all sorts of different things, sends you warnings about things. So I try not to say gun too much. Um, ridiculous, but that's what we're dealing with. Um, so this is just my, my 3D printed nozzle. Uh, I put a video up the other day of that. Um, it has the exact same uh, hose barb in. Now this is the reprinted one on the original video. I broke it because it was an older design that had threads on the inside for an ear needle. Um, so I removed all that and it's much stronger now. You can see and the other one broke last time doing that. So much stronger. Uh, it just has the air fitting directly in. But you can also uh, put a, a valve on here. Just like a, a gate valve or something. Um, a, a ball valve, sorry. It'd be better way of doing it and just remove the nozzle and put it directly onto one of these drain cocks or um, um, bulkheads tank outlets um, so it just sort of fits through and then screws together it's got some o-rings on it to seal it and then that's just sitting in a standard bucket um, it's just got another fitting on here um, this is actually a um, the air outlet or the the vacuum connection on those cheap um, like Harbour Freight style sandblasters and then just an off cut of some tube that I heated up and squeezed over it um, so really really simple um, cost practically nothing to make um, and yeah then just half inch half inch hose off this so this one's really simple you just plug the air on it um, and it'll start up and then just for a test here to show it I've got some crappy old stuff on the bottom of the bucket you can see the dark material on the top side of the bucket there um, and then a whole bunch of stuff floating on the top so um, I'm going to plug this in. It'll get pretty loud because the compressor will come on almost immediately. It's my, my small compressor. Um, but I will just fire it up and um, just give you an idea of how well it works. So there we go, it's practically cleaned that bucket out. Um, I don't want to keep going. I could get all the rest of it out, anything that's loose, but that bucket's a mess anyway. Um, but just to show you, I'll open that up. And then we go there. So then you can just take that bucket and tip it out, or um, if you want to save the media, just tip the water off the top of it. Um, but nice and simple, being just that little, little hose in rather than a wet and dry vac with a big um, the big um, hose outlet or 
or trying to adapt that down or anything. It's just nice and simple. Um, this one's cost um, really just the extra fittings and printing out that um, that nozzle body. A pretty simple, actually I already had the nozzle body. Um, I initially was doing this sort of thing to test the nozzles that I made originally and the idea was that um, if the air rushing through the end of the, the nozzle um, was working properly, that should create a low pressure zone in there, and in which case it would draw up the water from the other end of the, of the pipe. So um, I initially built this, this kind of setup. It wasn't exactly the same, um, but similar to this, just to make sure that it was creating that low pressure zone properly and that the nozzles would work um, without uh, back feeding. So that was how I sort of... Um, came up with it I was testing it and initially uh, this one here um, I was just testing it to see whether or not this type of fitting uh, will work for a DIY nozzle um, and in doing so I realized the the value that that had um, in, in making one of these is into a, a uh, an easy uh, pneumatic vacuum so a very good way of, of removing the media and then it's already sitting in a bucket so if you have a standardized bucket size you just make up the one lid and then you can just swap the the buckets over so it just makes it nice and easy um cheap easy and yeah, so that one there is just made up of one of my 3d printed nozzles but you can use this type as well here's one that i've just made up for a customer to go out um like i say i initially set this up for testing that these nozzles will flow properly um, so these will absolutely work just as well as, as this, this type here. Um, and so if you've got a spare one of these lying around or um, just these fittings, it's, it works to the same principle with the air jet rushing through. Um, or you can go and get my STL file for this um, and 3D print your own. So um, I've had quite a few people have been interested in these. Uh, I've already been sent photos of... Um, one that was printed from, uh, overseas and it came out really really nice actually the print quality was better than mine um, but they're becoming quite popular already and I'm thinking I will probably add in uh, this style of fitting here um, into the file as well um, just so if you want to do it this way uh, you can um, otherwise you can go with uh, one of these style fittings as you can see I'm doing a whole lot more trying to get caught up on stock um, you can go to one of these style fittings and then um, a, a ball valve um, or some ball valves have a male fitting on one end, female fitting on the other end. Just whatever you have, all you've got to do is adapt it into the back of this style of gun uh, because this fitting here is actually separate to the air jet. So the air jet's made in the body, uh, it's printed as part of the body there so you can swap this out freely whereas with these guns, um, if you remove this fitting, then the air jet comes out with it uh, as well. So um, you will need to run a bit of hose, like this one here. You'll need to run a hose and then either just have a fitting directly in the end or put your ball valve uh, in the end. Um, but that's it. I use this quite a lot, um, particularly with these style of cabinets. Um, once you've drained all the water out of them, there's still uh, media stuck in the corners of the the square reservoir um, and also these bulkhead fittings or um, or tank outlets see that they have quite a large rise on them so if they're on the on the bottom on the drains uh, the media will sit around here and it won't drain out properly when the water's um, draining out so it leaves spots that there are still a whole bunch of media sitting in so this is just a real nice easy way um, I run a flush through it, wash all the, the top of the cabinet down, drain everything else out and then I just quickly rush through with this, get the rest of the media out and it's a nice quick easy way of changing the media over. That's it, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.